Hello, what is happening everybody? Patrick from HDRGB Entertainment here today to bring a quick five minute video, five minute or less video, just talking about my Sega Genesis, Sega Mega Drive Tower of Power and how I sort of modernize it with a nostalgic feel into my living room setup. So this is outside of my stream and more just how I integrate old with new without making it feel like it's ancient tech with bad video quality. So if you appreciate this kind of content and you're a fan of PVMs, the Genesis, retro gaming, maybe some streams on real hardware like Fantasy Star Online or Sega Saturn, I strongly suggest you thumbs up on the video and subscribe to my channel and I'll just try my best to be entertaining and bring you some fun so stick around for that also check out in the description below I have links to our discord if you'd like to talk to people about Sega and things like that and also join us for some online fantasy star every single Thursday 9 p.m. Eastern time we do a live stream here on the channel so let's get into it I'm gonna talk about uh, PVM I have here so I recently sold a 27 inch consumer grade television like a Trinitron right a good TV it sat here it went from here to there it was bigger than this one 27 I sold that one because it was extremely heavy and extremely difficult to lift I had this PVM this is a 20 inch uh, I forget about the model so if you want to know the model maybe just ask me in the comments I'll post it later this has handles this is way easier to carry now with that said this is still a very very heavy heavy TV but I can manage to lift it on myself uh, by myself because of the shape not so much the weight so I got rid of that put this in but with a TV like this and if you know PVMs they're they're kind of you know they're getting sought after they're pretty they're pretty pricey they're um you don't want to make any mistakes here so I wanted to blend this setup here with my modern setup so I have here my modern TV, I got my sound bar, I got a component switch right here, which is very uh, important. So I have the component switch hooked up to the PVM. And then I have a few of my, uh, my favorite consoles here. So I got my Saturn, PS2, Wii, N64, PS4, that's not hooked up, Xbox, and the Super Nintendo. And what I try to do here is make everything wireless, make everything component, RGB, or better. So how we got that going right here is we got this component switch. This is legitimately a component switch. It takes component inputs. I recommend if you have a CRT, make sure it has component. Get a component switch. Basically every retro console as we know, one way or another, either has or is going to have very shortly an ability to process component signal. There's a lot of aftermarket products out there you know, you can ask me specifics if you want in the comments. So here we go. We got this. Now, this is, if you're just here for the Sega fan, this is the fan of all fan, the Sega of all Sega. This is the Sega Mega Drive Tower of Power. And mine is very, very unique because I'm using a Japanese Mega Drive, a Japanese, sorry, Mega CD, a Japanese Mega Drive, and a North American 32x because Sega has power the power is real when you stack it like this things become Very very intense Now I used to have this set up on my stream, but I realized I, I don't really want to play Genesis on the stream I rather just have it here, you know people my age that come over my peers When they see Genesis they instantly recognize it so I can always pop on a game while you're having a few beers and not have to worry about tripping because these are sensitive and expensive and hard to fix and to handle and I don't want this thing to mess up so I had to go and get a modern accessory I picked up two because I didn't know which one I wanted first I got this guy then I got this, this guy these are wireless dongles for these two controllers here this is my driver I love this controller now I've had a few 8-bit dough products this is the one I love very very much it's almost like a dog bone shape it feels really good and the buttons feel like they're gonna last and they're smooth and everything is good now here is the retro retro bit I think it is is it retro bit it's retro bit so I got the retro bit Saturn style controller sorry Genesis style controller so I have both of them 
and they both do the job and they're both really good. I'd recommend either one. Now, this one looks more OEM, but honestly, I prefer this one. It's just, I think it's a better design. However, you can't go wrong with either one, and this one obviously looks more OEM. Why? Because Sega is uh, like an official partner with this item. So, whichever one you get, I elected to get both because it doesn't matter. Whoever's using this would love to be wireless. And I have here for stereo sound, I got the cable going, and if you guys are curious about the hookup, it's not that complicated. So, here's what I let me actually, you know what? Here's what I recommend if you're going to set up um, a PVM. Have it like this, where you have room to, like, get behind it. That was one thing about the big TV. Like, I know everyone loves CRTs and nobody wants to throw one away, but sometimes you got to get rid of it. And I had to. And in favor, I got to use this thing. So here we go. This is modified. So to make things easy, I have import Sega CD games. I didn't want to have to, like, Sega CD isn't region free, so I didn't want to have to have that problem. So I just got... A region switch for that so those are installed then we have scarred rgb out here now here's the best part about this whole operation check this out look at this power supply this is literally a three-piece and a soda it's a three-piece so instead of having one of those like brick power bars you literally get this bad boy right here and it just plugs in just like that if you want to know the specs we're spec up, we're spec down, we're spec all around. Get the specs right here. I'm just having fun, guys. That's all it is. Having fun, being informative, and just enjoying this. So I would recommend getting that one. Um, don't ask me where, because I don't think they're sold anywhere, but since then, many other people have hooked it up. Now, back at the PVM, and I love the positioning of the PVM. I highly recommend it. Don't go too big. 14-inch, 20-inch. This is a 20. This is as big as I want to go, and I literally sit on the carpet because you strain your eyes. Everyone's used to watching TV on a 50. So anyways, I got the SCART RGB hooked up. I have um, basically B and C little adapters, uh, the RCA adapters, so you plug them in. They're just like this. Uh, but this is a, a cap, so that one has an input. Yeah, so you just put them in, so you get that, and that goes to the component switch. So now if I want to play, I can play at any point. So the question is, what do I want to play? Let's say we're having a, we're here, we're having some beers. Here are a few of the Genesis games I have. These are the ones I would highly recommend. I would get these guys great games. Now, I think we can't go wrong with popping in some Valus. So let's assume the cartridge is cleaned. I usually clean the, the pins there. Valis, great series, PC Engine favorite. Now, let's turn this on. It's that classic CRT sound. It's a classic CRT sound, a very good sound. Hope you guys are enjoying this video again. Please, if I may plug the channel again, I want to grow this channel, trying to get this channel up to 2,000 subs. Hope you guys enjoy the content, give it a like, and subscribe that really helps so now we have this on now i just have it set to um component rgb mode so if we just go and pop the sucker on now i can just grab a controller i can sit down on the carpet and i can play some sega genesis or mega drive whatever you want to call it and everything is great it's all nice sugar and spice now i have the sound routed uh so rather than coming out the speaker i routed the sound uh through an rca output going over here to this little small JBL. That's not the best speaker, and I would prefer to have it here, but my sound bar is full, uh, and, I, and I don't use the setup too, too much, but I also use it for laser discs. So the last thing I wanna say about this is Valus Rules. If you guys support me, please again, like and sub. And the one thing I'll say here is, I recommend everybody get an EverDrive. It doesn't have to be this one. It doesn't even have to be from the owner because what happens is a lot of these guys sell out. They have no products and then Amazon and like resellers get a hold of them. So you're probably going to pay more than you did originally. This thing's a few years old. Some guy in the forums was like, oh, you know, you shouldn't get one, blah, blah, blah. I don't want to hear about the ethics of this. If you're complaining about that and emulation and all that kind of stuff, then what you need to do is stop watching retro games and go do something else with your life productive, like uh, work out, have a good job, have a good family, uh, make yourself mentally happy, those kind of things. Let's not like talk nonsense here. You know, nobody's uh, taking ROMs so they can like sell them. And if they are, those are some pieces of shit. These are just for fun. I love using this because... You, on the SD card, I get a lot of fan translations. So if I have a sealed game or if I have even 
I own a game. Like, I'll put Valis on here just so I don't have to keep, keep switching up like this. You know, we don't want to be doing that kind of stuff. So um, I don't mind having a few games, but once it gets to a big collection, is no good. And the last thing I'll say is you can go with the X3 as opposed to the 5 and, and so on uh, just because this one has, um, for my setup, I can put a Sega CD BIOS on here allowing me to play any region Sega CD games. And I can also put 32X games on here because I have a 32X. So this is the ultimate thing that it does, whereas they don't natively support uh, 32X or, sorry, they don't natively support Sega CD games if you just drop them. You need to have a BIOS and having this helps. So anyways, that's all this video was. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Around 11 minutes long. Hope you guys uh, join me for the Thursday Fantasy Star Online. Valus is the game of all games. Let's go.